Hello everyone, my name is Sultan. I'm an ST3 histopathology trainee in East of England and I've managed to pass my FRC Path Part 1 exam from my first attempt. I am proud to announce my collaboration with Smartly to bring to you the best and most comprehensive platform for FRC Path Part 1 MCQ practice. In today's video, I will talk about the registration process on how to use Smartly and give you some tips on uh, how to use it successfully to pass your exam and share my thoughts on why I think this is the best MCQ platform out there. So if you watched any of my previous videos, you will notice how frustrated I was with not being able to find a proper MCQ bank out there. Um, many of the books are either outdated or completely irrelevant to the to the FRC path exam. So in Smartly, the questions are based on past papers and very comprehensive in a way that is representative of the actual exam. So my honest opinion is that just save your time instead of going and trying to find a few good MCQs in many, many books. Just use one platform that has everything ready for you to optimize your time and use it more efficiently in your study or in your preparation for the exam. I'm going to share my screen now and show you how to register in Smartly, which is quite easy and straightforward. Okay, so you can use the link down in the description uh, and follow my steps if you like, or you can just register afterwards. So this is the platform. This is the, the main page here. They have more than a thousand uh, questions, I think. Right now it is around 1,400 questions. These questions are being updated continuously and mean, uh, with, with regular maintenance as well. So you hopefully wouldn't find any um, outdated questions. And if you find anything as well, um, you can always give a feedback and the team usually responds within the same day. Um, so you can just scroll down and right there. So um, the FRC Path Part 1 Question Bank Access for only £80 uh, for three months. Honestly, this is I think, I think this is quite reasonable. I mean, there's no uh, question bank like this out there. So it's quite comprehensive, based on actual past paper questions, with uh, real histology images, which is quite representative of the exam, as well it touches on molecular pathology, and it is obviously uh, based on textbook and reliable information. Click. I'm ready. Once you're on this page, you can choose a username, email, password, and then click register. And that is as easy as that. You registered and then you can choose your plan. You can choose which plan you'd like, either the three months or one year, depending on how early you're preparing for the exam and uh, complete the payment online. And that's it. And you will get instant access. I already have access, so I'm just going to log in. So once you log in, you'll be greeted with this page. Uh, which has the quote of the day and um, it's really nice, it keeps you motivated each day. I mean, you, you can do this or skip this, but I genuinely think that you should do it because it gives you some sort of insight into how you're feeling today and, well, in that sense, you will essentially have more insight on how you're feeling and how your performance um, might reflect that as well. So I'm gonna say I'm feeling amazing, let's destroy this, let's do it. What are your aims today? I said I'm gonna complete 20 uh, um, GI MCQs and then we can just say complete 20 derm MCQs. So I've spoken to the creator of Smartly and he explained to me that this is actually evidence-based. If you write your goals on the day uh, that feeds into your subconscious and enables you to achieve those goals um, throughout uh, your your day essentially and this is all evidence-based there's a lot of research behind this as well so i highly i highly encourage you to do that uh, once you're done you have your goals go to the mcq bank there is a quick guide on how to use the platform obviously you should complete the quizzes you will get an immediate feedback which i'll show you then to become a master at each stage um, you should score about 90 percent which which is also explained later on um, now the idea is that you should understand the question and not just memorize what the answer is. Um, you can track your scores, which is quite convenient as well. So once you're ready, you go to FRC Path Part 1. The um, Smartly platform advises to think and reveal, and then you can click on histopathology questions. So you have all the topics clearly laid out for you right here. 
um, all the systems everything is right there all the systems that you need uh, for your exam you will find that there are autopsy questions management questions and even molecular questions so everything you need is right here on the platform i'm going to show you a few questions a few examples so let's go to dermatopathology and click general you can see the number of mcqs that are available start a new quiz a 45 year old woman presents with multiple small firm papules on her lower lower eyelid Histological examination reveals a well-formed duct lined by two layers of epithelial cells surrounded by dense fibrous stroma. What is the most likely diagnosis? Um, so let's just choose syringoma. Once you answer the question, um, you get an explanation down below, which you can read. Uh, you have a variation of questions. Some questions are short, other questions are long. This is how the exam is. Sometimes it's one line, sometimes it's a paragraph. So I'm just gonna show you another example. Um, you can read the question and then try to think about what could the answer be. Again, you go down, you find the explanation written out nicely, and then if you have any issues with any of the questions, you can always give a feedback. You can mention what is the, um, the concern about, and then you submit it. So once you submit it, they usually respond within the same day, um, and they adjust the question if needed, or they offer you an explanation. So it's quite, it's quite a nice platform, very well made. Once you finish with the quiz, you click finish quiz, and then you go into, um, so it gives you a score. I mean, obviously this is a low score because I was skipping through the questions to show you the best questions for demonstration. And then it gives you which questions you've, see, you've done and whether you've gotten it correct or incorrect. We're gonna look at press cases just real quick. This is actually a good example. They give you a one-line description and then they show you an image. Uh, you look at that image and then you try to think of what could this possibly be. So it is a press sample, 25 year old, that's the image. Let's say this is a fibroadenoma. There are some nice images as well in this MCQ platform. So this is a good example with a with a high quality image as well. Um, this is quite representative of how the images um, look like as well in the exam. Another tab is the results tab. Uh, which is quite nice because as you progress doing your MCQs day by day, you can uh, look at how your progress is, which is a quite nice visual feedback on your performance. And then you can scroll down and see um, which topic you've done and how you've done. Obviously, ignore my scores. I've only I'm only using it for demonstration, so I'm skipping through questions, obviously, and it's getting I'm I'm getting low scores as a result. This is the MCQ bank. It is as easy as that. It's quite straightforward to use. So, in conclusion, I think you should uh, stop wasting time. Stop trying to do um, all of these different MCQ books because many of them are not representative of the exam, and just get on with doing something that is based on exams written in a way the exam is written. So you can use the links down in the description below to sign up. So how should you use this MCQ bank? So many people use MCQ banks differently. I personally like to read a topic in, for example, Robin's Pathology. And then after finishing the chapter, I test myself and I see which areas am I falling short and then I go back and read more about those, those areas. Some people ha already have some histopathology knowledge, so they like to test themselves first and then uh, they can focus their reading on the areas they're falling short in and uh, try to practice as much as you can try to get the highest score you can possibly get now the idea is that you don't memorize the answer but rather understand why you have chosen chosen such answer in this way you will solidify and optimize your understanding of certain topics. All of the links are down in the description below. You can go ahead, sign up today, and start your practicing journey to pass your FRC path exam from your first attempt. Um, you can also join my mailing list uh, using the link down below. I will send out news about courses of part one and part two. You can always unsubscribe to the mailing list if you have passed all of your exams, but it's always, to, uh, it's always good to be uh, informed on all the latest courses uh, in histopathology. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe uh, to stay updated with all the latest information about F4C path exams and how to ace your exams. Well, thank you again for watching. I'll see you soon.